Ben here with Alcor Advanced Materials. In this video, I'm going to show you how we assemble lithium-ion coin cells that we use to test our natural graphite anodes. The type of cell I'm assembling is called an anode half cell. I'll tell you about each of these components as I stack them onto the crimping die one by one. The first component is a stainless steel cup with a gasket fixed to its rim. Next, I place a stainless steel spring into the cup. The spring will ensure good electrical contact between the components once the cell is sealed. A stainless steel spacer acts as a flat, rigid current collector for the cathode that will be placed on top. In an anode half cell, a thin disc of metallic lithium acts as the cathode. It supplies the anode with plenty of lithium ions so that we can get a clear picture of how the anode is performing. I next place a separator onto the lithium disc. The separator is slightly larger in diameter than the electrodes. It electrically isolates the electrodes, but allows the lithium ions to flow between them. The separator is now wetted with a liquid electrolyte. The electrolyte will also wet the graphite anode and allow lithium ions to move easily between the electrodes. Finally, I add our natural graphite anode. This anode was made by Alcora using our high quality spherical graphite and graphene. Thin copper foil was coated with anode material and cut into these electrodes. Uh, so the copper acts as a current collector for the anode. The last step is to cover everything up with the can and seal the coin cell. To seal the cell, the die is placed on a crimper and a pressure of about 1500 psi is applied. The gasket that was on the cup keeps the two terminals of the cell electrically separated. The result is a familiar looking rechargeable battery that is ready to be cycled many times to verify anode performance. These cells can now be used to test and improve our anode formulations and help us make better batteries. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.